Yo, in this video, I will go through the WAX DeFi model. In this model, they will use the revenue from NFTs on the WAX platform and give that as dividends for those that own the WAX E tokens on Ethereum and stake that. For these details, you can also go into the link in the description for their WAX, WAX official article about this. And before we dig into the content, please like, subscribe, give a comment to this, share the video if you like this, and let's go! Here we are. This is the WAX DeFi model. Uh, I have tried to describe this as greatly as I can and I will go through all these details. There's a lot of images and arrows. First thing to see is this this line here. This is actually the, what's dividing the wax chain to the Ethereum chain. So that is one thing you need to understand. This DeFi model is using two different blockchains. So first on wax you have the wax P token. Wax P token is the one that we have used so far on the Wax mainnet, the one that is used to stake to get vote rewar rewards, used to vote for guilds that run the chain, uh, used to buy things, uh, NFTs and uh, other things on the Wax blockchain. You will be able to take 1000 of these Wax P tokens that are about 4 cents each and swap them for one wax e. So here, this is the wax 1000 to one. If you take 1000 wax p, you can swap them one way to wax e. There's no going back in this way. Later, there will be some way to go back. And since swapping these actually burns them. So if you swap 1000 tokens to the waxy, they are burnt and they exist no more. That means that you cannot swap back to the same tokens, but there will be some kind of DEX opening in the future where you can actually exchange your waxy back to waxp and then you can swap them back and continue like this if you would like to burn a lot of waxp and lose some value on the way. But hey, it's always fun to, to cause a big bonfire, right? So, you swap them to Ethereum and then you have your Wax E token. Wax E tokens can then, you will get this. This is the, the Wax Mafia, those that hold the Wax G tokens on Ethereum, the cool guys. They can actually take this Wax E and stake it. If they stake it, they will get a share of the NFT uh, revenues from the NFT market on the Wax blockchain. And currently the, the NFT market has done about $2 million in, in sales. Uh, on the second market, it's a little bit less than that, but I also calculate the ones from the initial sales of these uh, IPs that like Garbage Pail Kids, Blockchain Heroes, COGS, and a lot of other fun things. Um, so we have the NFT mar market on WAX, and you can swap WAXP to the Ethereum chain, you can stake them, and you will earn dividends on the WAX market NFT sales. So far, nothing complicated, perhaps. The Wax E token, the one you have staked, will will earn you Ethereum tokens. You will not gain more Wax E, but you will earn Ethereum tokens, and you will also earn the Wax G token. G is for governance, so and E is for Ethereum, G is for governance. So you will earn new Ethereum, and you will earn Wax G. So th this is what you will earn. Let me actually do this, and I can I can draw some here, and let's increase this. So if you stake the Wax E. In the staking pool, you will earn Ethereum and you will earn uh, Wax G. So you will earn two tokens. The Wax G token then can be burnt. If you burn it, you will earn Ethereum from another source. So you will earn your tokens, but then the Wax G token will be gone. The total supply of Wax G is 10 million. The to total supply of Wax E is 3.7 million. The total supply of wax p is 3.7 billion uh, when all are generated which means that you can swap all of them for wax e then we have some inflation on wax and depending on how that goes and yada 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 we don't know if all of these wax p will ever be exchangeable for the wax e but it, they will be from the uh, from right now um so wax e you can stake it and you earn ethereum and you earn wax g wax g can be burned and you earn ethereum for that. We have the piggy bank pool and we have the distribution pool. Those are two pools that uh, get refilled by the NFT sales on WAX. 
So far, so good. Of the NFT sales, the fees that go to the Ethereum blockchain, 90% go to the distribution pool and the distribution pool go to the staking pool. So 90% of the NFT fees that go to Ethereum will go to the pool for people that stake Wax E. And that Ethereum will actually be given out to those that stake with the Wax G. I explained that a few times, but I, I just want to clarify all the steps. When they get fees from the Wax chain, they will actually buy Ethereum with that. And when they do that, the Wax P tokens will be poof. For all the Wax P tokens that are swapped to the Ethereum chain, they are gone. So they, they will swap them to Wax E and they will take that Wax E and swap them for Ethereum. So I should probably have this uh, Wax E token here because that's what they will swap them to and then they will uh, exchange them for Ethereum. And when they exchange into Ethereum, they will put the Ethereum into the distribution pool, which go back to the, the staking pool. Uh, and when they swap to Wax E, what happens? The Wax are burnt. So 80% go to the bonfire. And when they do this, 20% go to the bonfire. So the bonfire get initiated by 100% of the network fees on Wax. Okay, so far there's a lot of bonfires. There's a lot of swaps. Uh, Distribution pool and the piggy bank are refilled when the Wax E tokens are sold for Ethereum and 10% go to the piggy bank. And the piggy bank will just keep growing. It will be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because everything from the pig bank will never be released, will never be distributed. But instead, each time someone burns the Wax G token here, you will earn the same amount in the piggy bank pool. So if you own 1% of all Wax G tokens, you will get back 1% of the total value of the piggy bank pool, which means that the longer time goes, the more valuable the Wax G tokens will actually become. They will get 10% of all the, the fees forever, for all future, at least that's what this model says. And uh, so the longer you wait to burn this Wax G, the better it will be uh, based on your revenue and you will get your Ethereum back. And how the, this pool is actually refilled is by NFT sales on WAX. And here are an example of some of the NFTs. So NFT sales on WAX are, are different kind of things, but you can, ex, uh, you can swap them uh, currently for the WAX P token. There are also some other tokens that are available to trade with, but this is for the WAX, WAX P. So here, when you buy them, when you buy your NFTs, or when anyone buys them, the sum that you buy them for are divided to multiple sources. So the market itself has about one to 2% fee that is built in, that is to sustain the market, to pay for the development and give, give the people that built it some kind of revenue. So it's free to use the market, but they take a little bit of each sale, about one to 2%, depending on which market and, and uh, things like that. The seller gets about 83 to 99%. And that is a big difference if you get 83% or 99. And that is dependent on what, what the IP holder, the collection also does. Because a collection can set their fees on their collection between 0% and 15%. So if I release some kind of NFTs on WAX, I can set it at 0% and you will keep more of your sale if you start to sell these. I can keep it at 1% and I get 1% of all the sales. 5%, 15%, whatever, I set it out and I will get some revenue, which is great for me if I am like a content creator, I create these NFTs and I get some future future uh, benefit of the sales on the in the second hand market. So this is this is great. It's like uh, you you own you you have the license and there, there's a license fee for selling your NFTs and you get that get that fee for, for each of the sales. Uh, and so that is the, the distribution. This is 100% of the, of the price of the NFT sales. So 100% are distributed to the market, to the seller and to the IP holder. From the IP holder fund, 20 to 40% will go to the market uh, fee. So the, the pot that goes and get distributed to the Wax E and the Wax G, that is from the IP holder part of the, of the fee. So if the IP holder has 0% fee, nothing goes here. And that is very important to understand because this is, if we go to the total here, 
Usually that, that would mean about 2% to 4% of the sale, but that depends totally what the IP holder has set. If we have here the GPK sale, for example, perhaps a little bit hard to read it. I will uh, enlarge it a bit. If we have here, we see that the market fee is one to 2%, tops gets 6%, network fee is 2%, and the seller gets 90 to 91%. Uh, this is about uh, as accurate as I, as I can go right there. Uh, so, NFT sales on wax, market get the share, seller get the large share, IP holder get it depending on what their setting is. Tops has it at 8% and of that 25% goes to the wax uh, network fee pool that are distributed to the wax E. And so here, the 20 to 40%. Of that, so 100% is the total amount in this in this network uh, fee pool. So 100%. Of that, 20% are burnt directly. So poof, they are not exchanged to the Wax E token. And that is important because this is a counter to the Wax P inflation. So Wax P has inflation to cover the Wax Labs, the Wax Guilds, and other uh, vote rewards rewards that people get back for uh, taking part in the governance or building things on Wax. So you get some uh, money for doing this and it's a way to sustain the whole network. A great way to do that by example. And th this 20% burn that is not swapped is to, cov is to counter that, uh, that uh, inflation so the supply doesn't just keep going, going, going. But instead when NFTs are sold, a portion is burned directly, 80% are swapped to Wax E. And when you swap, as we have seen here, one way swap, the whole pot is actually burnt, which means that this 80% is also burnt when it's swapped to Wax E. And the Wax E will be exchanged to Ethereum and, and I would guess that they are gonna use the Uniswap that they will actually have as well. So you will be able to swap Ethereum to Wax E and Wax E to Ethereum or, or to Wax G. Up to you and that is of course depending on the liquidity. So this is the whole DeFi model. I have explained every part of it. Let's go through this one more time. You have Wax P on the Wax mainnet. They can be swapped for Wax E 1000 to one. So for 1000 Wax P you get one Wax E. That means that from the start this is about 40, uh, well, about $40 worth. Uh, you can take this Wax E this is the owner you can take it and stake it to the staking pool when you stake it to the staking pool you will earn yourself ethereum and wax g wax g is the governance token which can set some settings in this whole model but it's also you can burn the wax g when you do that you get your proportion of the piggy bank which is if you own one percent of the wax g tokens you get one percent of the piggy bank total value and this just keeps uh, being bigger until all of the WaxG tokens are burnt and then this is dead. Uh, which I don't think will happen in a very long time. When NFTs on Wax are sold, there are three different uh, entities that get re uh, revenue from that. We have the market fee, the ones that has built the market that you're using, they get 1-2%. to We have the seller that gets the large cut, 83-99%. to And then we have the IP holder that gets 0-15%. to and why there's a big gap is that you can set this in your settings. Of this 0 to 15%, 20 to 40% of that is a network fee that goes to the, the pool that is distributed to the Wax E uh, distribution pool. So when, they, when it's here, the network fee, 100% is here, 20% of that is burned directly. And that is to counter the inflation of the Wax uh, mainnet ecosystem. Inflation is, is used to finance the infrastructure and the development of tools for WAX. 80% is swapped to WAX E. When anything is swapped, as we see here, is a one-way uh, street. It's thrown into the great bonfire and it's burnt. So 100% of the network fees are burnt. 80% go and are exchanged to Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, with this Wax E and that will likely be used in some kind of Uniswap or other protocol that has this liquidity. Of these uh, Wax E that are swapped to Wax to Ethereum, 90% of that go to the distribution pool 
and 10% go to the piggy bank pool. Piggy bank pool was if you if you burn wax G. Distribution pool is for those that stake wax E. And that is the entire model. And you can swap this for Ethereum at any time and you can keep them here. So this is a way to own a portion of the NFT market on wax. Peace. Thank you.